If you're a fan of the live action How the Grinch Stole Christmas starring Jim Carrey, then you're going to love these eight behind the scenes facts. And the first one is that Jim Carrey's Grinch suit was made of yak hair, and each strand of hair was sewn on the costume by hand, which took about four months to finish. Turning Jim Carrey into the Grinch was a very agonizing process. First, his skin was cleaned, and then a protective coating was applied to preserve it from the glue. All his prosthetic appliances were then glued on, and then a green layer of paint was applied to match the appliance's color, followed by several other layers of color to make his face look more lifelike. Once the paint dried, his hair pieces were glued on, and then he was ready to film. The first time the makeup team worked on Jim Carrey, it took eight and a half hours to get him ready which made the actor so mad that he kicked a hole in his trailer and he nearly rage quit the movie. So the makeup team worked to perfect the process to get his time down to two and a half hours in the chair, which is still quite a long time. Jim Carrey was paid $20 million for his 92 days of work on The Grinch, and he said the experience was like torture because he felt like he was buried alive every day in his costume and prosthetics. So the producer hired a CIA agent trained in torture endurance to give Carey some distraction techniques to withstand the trauma, such as eating everything he saw, punching himself in the leg, or spontaneously asking someone to slap him. Ron Howard even shared in the actor's suffering by having the makeup department dress him up like the Grinch for one day of filming, just so he could empathize with Jim Carey's experience. Jim Carrey's torture training helped him endure almost everything about his costume claustrophobia, except the trauma caused by his yellow contact lenses. They reportedly irritated his eyes so badly that he eventually reached a breaking point where he couldn't stand to wear them anymore. So he received permission to film the rest of the movie without them, and then his eye color was changed later on in post-production. Jim Carrey wasn't the only one suffering for his art, because the Who actors also endured three hours in the makeup chair to get their prosthetics glued onto their faces. And Jeremy Howard, who played Drew Lou Who, found out that an hour and a half of that time was spent on just covering up their real eyebrows so that the fake ones could be put on. So he decided to just shave his off to save time. To make matters worse, the Who's prosthetics often smelt like sulfur. So between that and having a runny nose from getting sick or having an allergic reaction to the glue meant that there were days when it was very difficult for the Who actors to breathe. So they would often stick straws up their fake noses into their real nostrils to help them get some fresh air. Speaking of Who noses, Cindy Lou Who is noticeably different and cuter than the rest of the Who's because she doesn't have the same nose as the other characters. And the reason why is because Taylor Momsen was too young by Hollywood regulations to wear prosthetics. So they had to write a line in the script to explain that the Who's grow into their noses as they age to justify why she doesn't have one. A popular question asked on the internet is whether or not Jim Carrey really ate those glass bottles in his lair. And the answer is no. It's a common Hollywood trick that breakable bottles, or in this case, edible bottles, are actually made of sugar glass. So, now you know. Christmas films are usually meant for the whole family, and Ron Howard took this to heart by sneaking himself into the movie as a Whoville townsperson, as well as sneaking in some members of his family. His brother Clint had the most prominent role as the mayor's sidekick Hubris, and his father Rance had the second most screen time as the elderly timekeeper while the rest of his family had brief cameos, such as his son Reed, his now famous daughter Bryce Dallas Howard, and his wife Cheryl. Click a video for more great content right here on Fun Fact Films.